but the rest is just numbers. But let's say there's 7 billion people live on this planet. There's a small percentage of them that have come to the world of spirit. They're spiritual seekers. The rest are mainstream and asleep. And among that small percentage of humanity that is interested in spirituality, a very, very small percentage of it is interested in 5D quantum awareness, is interested in what we're talking about. Very, very small. So you're kind of in a battle in a way, I'm putting it in that, you're against the herd, you know? The herd is going in that direction. Pseudo-spirituality, new age, is all teaching about setting up your intention, uh, positive visualization, positive thinking, keep your focus, and use the mind to acquire it because it's re-emphasizing the illusion that you are separated from the source. You're an individual entity capable of your own free will and capable of creating this reality, <coughs> which continuously taking you away from what we're talking about. It makes you become a person, separated. It makes you become a person disconnected. So you're fighting against that because today, today's spirituality is not confirming your understanding. It's against your understanding. You're, so you're fighting against that too. Not only you're fighting against mainstream and sleepy people around you, but you're also fighting against what they're teaching. The mainstream of spirituality, I would call it. So a very, very small percentage come to this understanding. That's why existence does not produce a lot of enlightened people. That's why we don't have many Buddhas. That's why you don't have many Ramana Maharishis. You don't have many Papajis. It's a rare thing that existence produces, which is also by design, but one of them can transform their presence, transforms millions of people, or the presence, one of them balances the imbalance. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Who cares? Do your work and stay centered. And as you're doing that, your quality of life changes. Peace comes. And as you go slowly, slowly forward, you begin to be recognized by people around you. Not, not that you're seeking that, but it becomes clear that here is a wise woman. Here's a wise man. Here's this, a wise girl. That person has come to wisdom. 
you you get the utter recognition. Not that I'm I'm not saying you care for it, but it becomes apparent that there is wisdom there. But that's not our goal, but the goal is to come to inner peace, to become free. But it shows people around you at one point notice that there's something happening. This person is different. This person has something that nobody else has. This person has come to inner freedom, inner happiness, inner peace. It will show itself. I mean, it's interesting because when I go into the spiritual market, I go to a conference or I go to spiritual communities and I see all these boys and girls and they're so confused, so confused with all these teachings. And a part of me feels bad, naturally that how confused they are. Or how lost they are. But what to do? If you can help, you help. If the person's available and their ears comes up and they're ready to hear you, you, you help naturally. And if not, then you just, again, as a part of surrendering to what is. Surrendering to their, that they have to go through suffering. You know, when I see around my family or friends, and how they're struggling. Basically, they're dealing with basic stuff and fear, worry about future, and so lost into the past, so lost into the world of mind, no awareness of their mind, their thoughts, no awareness of emotions come and go. They really view this body as the only thing there is. And I see that and I see their struggle, but what can I do? So that's my teaching of my challenge of surrendering to that. Being around people you love that are suffering and you have to surrender to it and accept their suffering because that's their path. Because you can't do anything. They're not interested. They're not open to hearing you. They get angry. The moment you start saying anything like this, they get, you can see from their reaction is anger or rejection to this teaching, it's bullshit to them. This is all bullshit. It's all meaningless. To them, I'm delusional, lost. 